There's dancing Behind movie scenes Behind the movie scene Sadi Rani She's the one that keeps the dream alive From the morning past the evening To the end of the life Grim Fool of Asher on the 45 Well it's a Grim Fool of Asher on the 45 And me, Lear, and we are the, the geographers, geographers of tomorrow. That's such an enthusiastic opening. It is. Okay, so today we are going to go all the way over to the Ganges in just a bit. But first, we're going to give you a few quick fire facts. At the moment, it is 21 degrees, and it is also only subsistence farming which means that they're only producing enough to feed themselves for the year. They'd be very lucky if they could feed an entire village. If they mm -hmm. would. Because it's, it's such harsh weather over there. It's actually got a monsoon climate, which is where it's really rainy and really hot at the same time. Another fact is that here in England, we have these lovely creatures as pets. But in the Ganges in India, they would be used for a lot more, such as farming. Another animal used in rice farming quite a lot is the water buffalo. They use it so that they can carry over the rice in the water easily and they use it for ploughing. Over to you, Leo and Sophia, in the Ganges Valley. Woo! Today we will be coming directly from Bangladesh to tell you as many facts as we can about the place and its farming. Over to you, Sophia. So we're just going to tell you a few facts just before we go out and show you all around the river. So here's a few facts that we have found about the out about the Ganges River. So. The Ganges is the most secret river to the Hindus. Basically, their religion revolves around it. It's a very important river to them, actually. And also, the river around it has a type of subsidence farming, which means that, basically, it's very hard conditions because it's in a monsoon climate, so it's very hard to get crops, so they only produce enough for themselves. So, another fact is that Rice is three quarters of the farmer's diet. There are 480 million people relying on agriculture for livelihood. And 23 to 30 million farms with just one acre or a smaller amount to feed themselves. That's really not much. Almost just about enough to feed your family. And if you're really lucky, your town. The Ganges River flows through the nation of India and Bangladesh. And it even goes through 16 cities. The Ganges was ranked as the fifth most polluted rivers in the world in 2017, which is not very good for the hygiene of the crops. And it has four, 400,000 square miles of land. That's an awful lot if it's polluted. But there is lots of oxygen to keep the crops healthy and hydrated. Rice farming is labour intensive, which means that it needs a lot of people to do the farming. And it's very hard work. And in total, there are 58 million hectares of arable farming. That is an awful lot. It is. Right, let's go out, shall we? <clears throat> Let's go. It's very hot and it in its approximately 21 degrees Celsius. Yes, the farms have very humid conditions and it's very wet around our feet. This is the Ganges River. 
the Ganges River is right behind us at the moment, and there's rice farms that way, which we've just come from, and we'll, we'll show you around those in just a sec. But we just want to tell you that this is the actual river we were giving the facts to you about. Produce a lot of oxygen and other great immense things, but they're very polluted, so we might as well get away before we get to you. Okay. Now let's speak to a real human, but we'll do it. Let's speak to a local farmer. Yeah. His name is Ross. And he's just a few miles down there, so we're going to go back to we HQ and wait for one of our portable cameras to go over there. We've See you then. We've agreed with him to have an interview. Who are? Hello, my lovies. We have a few questions for you, don't we, Leo? Yes. Would you like to start? Okay, then. Are you ready? How is it like being a farmer here in such intense conditions? Oh, well, it's back-breaking work. We have to do lots of manual labour. Uh, it involved working the soil in small fields to produce grain crop. There's lots of people working on it though, but we don't have much equipment or machinery. I've only got an old tractor! What is your food supply like? Well, we, we only take what we need for our family and then the village. Uh, it's mainly crops though. Uh, we've got... Uh, we got... Uh, rice, we got millet and maize, and we do some wheat and barley. But mainly, mainly it's rice, that's what we do the most. Of the rice. I like rice. Oh, that is very interesting. We've got many more questions that we would like to ask you. So, like, what is the weather like? Is it like rainy, sunny, cold rain, stuff like that? Ah, the weather, huh? You, you English people do like the weather. But, yeah, it's very hot most of the year round, apart from the monsoon seasons where we get a lot of rain. But um, we, we do plant some trees for shade, but that's about the only reason the trees are there, so we can uh, at least have some lunch in the shade. Wow! Whoa! A monsoon climate! Oh yeah, I did say I'll come back to Thank you, you've just done something for me. So, how do you live with all this farming? Well, well, our farms are small. We've only got about two hectares ourselves. Uh, and each of the farming unit is divided into a number of plots which are in very scattered locations. Sometimes, though, our crop yields are really low uh, because of the uh, unpredictable conditions. Uh, it does leave me quite a lot of debt though, at times. You must have a really hard life. Is there anything else you do? Well, no, it's mostly farming. Because apart from that, we have to do uh, we have to do fertilisation, and and we've been getting help with that from the government. But it, it, it does cost money. But I have to also spend a lot of time going to get the water with my family. Um, that's generally by, done by the women. But I we have to get water out from wells and things like that. Wow. Okay. So, like, what do you do in your spare time? Because, like, I know you don't have iPads or electrical devices like we do, because back in Britain we're quite a well-developed country, whereas you might be, say, a bit more behind. Uh, what, what's an iPad? I, I, I don't know what an iPad is, but I, I, I don't have much time to do anything else. It's just farming, like coming home, and again up and doing a farming again. Ho <laughs> ho You've got no spare time. Wow. Dude. Must be really hard. Oh, Leo. Okay, anyway. Right, so, in all these conditions you're in, is it hard working? 
Yes, it is. It's, it's a way of life, though. I've got a water buffalo that helps us out, though. That, that's really good. But we, we, we don't have anything else, really. Um, lots of hard, intensive working for relatively small yields. Oh, it must be hard. I'm glad I'm not in your shoes. It's very hard to work in these conditions. But do you enjoy it? Do you like feel like, woo, yeah, we've got the rice farming done. Oh, dear. <laughs> or are you just like, is it more on the boring side? Or is it more happy? I like doing this job. Well, I can't really think of anything else that we would do. Um, is it boring? Well, it's like any job, really. At times it is. But you got to get the work done. you got to feed the, feed the family in the villages. Okay. And are you very happy with the way life is at the moment? Would you enjoy it? Do you like it how it is? Or would you rather move to another country, say... America or Britain? Well, yeah, I'd, I'd like to, to live in a, a different country where it's warm and sunny and there's lots of money. Yeah, America sounds good. There's lots of good theme parks there, but I'm happy with my lot. Ah, okay. Interesting. So, do you want to be a farmer? Well, there are loads of people around, and uh, population just keeps on growing. Uh, we're, we're having more children, and, and the death rate is slowly decreasing. But yeah, to answer your question, yeah. Really? Oh, wow, okay. So, do you want to be a Well, when I was growing up, uh, I did always want to be a, a florist, but I can't do that really here. Just farming? Just farming. Cool. So, is there any other jobs in your country? Oh yeah, yeah. In my country there's loads of other jobs. Uh, some of the cities, uh, they do a lot of work with that newfangled internet stuff and working on computers and things like that. Parts of the country are quite well established, a bit like your own really. Okay, so thank you very much. We've been really happy to interview you and we've learned a lot more than what we knew and I'm sure all of our viewers have learnt a lot more. And so, for all those viewers, thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. And well, that's all for now. Bye bye. It's goodbye from Sophia. And good. Oh, it's goodbye from Leo. And goodbye from Sophia. You just me